What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Baby Shot, coming with you back with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can improve your hair health as a man. These tips also work for women, but I'm mainly focusing on improving hair health as a, as a man, all right? I've been receiving a lot of texts and comments saying, oh, how do you keep your hair thick? It looks so healthy. Don't worry. I got you, all right? For my new viewers, click the subscribe button down below to find out more videos like this coming from me, more hair health videos, more bad growth videos, all right? This is the right channel for you. For my returning viewers, welcome back, man. Now, first off, we're gonna jump straight to the point, all right? First off, you have to keep your hair moist. You have to keep your hair moist throughout the entire day. You have to keep your beard moist. If not, your hair and beard is prone to get split ends. It is prone to damage, all right? Because there's no moisture in it. It becomes fragile. Our hair is very fragile. If you don't apply the necessary oils or moisture to it, it is gonna get damaged immediately. Split ends, split ends will form, and just your overall hair health will be destroyed, all right? Now, I typically use Jamaican black castor oil. This is the extra dark version. And um, I use this now, the Tracy Moran hair and beard oil, explosive growth. Trust me, this right here works wonders for me. I apply it every single day. Find a hair oil. The link for this is in the description down below. You can use coconut oil. You can use Jamaican black castor oil, argan oil, Gray oils to improve hair growth and overall hair health, all right? Use your hair oils daily, man. Use your beard oils daily, man, all right? You want to improve that hair growth? Use these oils daily. Now, I don't use grease. I don't use grease, not gel. Grease and gel, what they tend to do after a period of time, they tend to clog the pores which like our pores on our hair on our beard they need to breathe with grease pomade gel they're gonna they're gonna clog your pores and gel mainly is gonna cause flakes onto your scalp but you do not want that man you do not want danger you want to run away from grease you want to run away from pomade so i recommend you on using um hair butter i use hair butter every day this is tracing the rain hair and beard butter, you can use this on your bed as well. This right here softens, conditions your beard, it locks in moisture onto your beard. This is the truth, all right? Throughout the entire day, man, throw away all them grease and stuff, get your butter, rub it onto the bed, rub it onto the hair, all right? These stuff I use on a daily basis. You have to use it every day. You cannot go a single day without Moisture in your beard, moisture in your hair. It isn't, it, it don't work like that. If you want to improve your hair growth, you have to apply these methods every day. I use beard balm likewise, all right? If I'm in a rush, I always have my beard balm in my bag. So throughout the entire day, get my beard balm, put it on my bed. And what, what the great part about it is, this softens and conditions your beard. It doesn't leak like beard oil. Like say you have an event, if you apply beard oil, the beard oil will leak onto your clothes. It will ruin your outfit. It happened to all of us, all right? That's why you apply your beard balm. The beard balm comes in clutch. It leaves your beard soft and it leaves your beard conditioned and it also smells good, all right? It also smells good. In terms of shampooing and conditioning, I shampoo my hair between one to two times a week, all right? Now, I use Tracy Moran Explosive Growth Thickening Shampoo. This is a non-sulfate shampoo, all right? And I use the Argan Oil Morocco Conditioner, sulfate-free conditioner, sulfate-free shampoo. Listen, you guys need to run away from sulfate conditioner and shampoos. When I tell you run away, run as fast as you can. Do not mind. I get my iPad right here to go into further details of Sunfake products, all right? So it says here, Sunfake 
shampoo, strip oils and dirt away from the hair. Some fake may strip away too much moisture, leaving your hair dry and unhealthy. The key word is going to leave your hair dry and unhealthy. They may also make the scalp dry and prone to irritation. Aside from the possible drying effects, there is little risk to a person hanged from using some feet. All right, come on guys. Google it, it's on Google right now. You could Google it. Run away from some fake shampoos, run away from some fake conditioners. Just run away, do not buy no shampoo or conditioner with some fake. It is gonna strip your hair. It's gonna ruin your overall hair health. All right, so whenever you shop for shampoos or conditioners, buy the some fake free product. Guarantee you will see an improvement in your hair health, all right? Um, so shampoo my beard as well, using beard wash. This is B. Jefferson's beard wash I use. Now I shampoo my beard at the same time I shampoo my hair, all right? You gotta shampoo your beard, you gotta clean it out. You gotta do some deep cleaning on your beard, all right? I also condition my beard as well. So yeah, um, if you have a beard, you could also use a beard wash to wash your beard. Do not use regular shampoo to wash your beard. Use beard wash, all right? I also done some research on my iPod why you should use beard wash for your beard instead of using normal shampoo on your beard. It says if you use regular off-the-shelf shampoos to wash your beard, the chemicals in them will be stripping your beard of its natural oils. Not only that, but they can also dry out the skin underneath your beard hair. That's why you use beard wash to wash your beard instead of normal shampoos. It also says that the oils inside the beard wash contains excellent conditioning properties for your beard. Use beard wash to wash your beard, not use off the shelf shampoos to wash your beard. Another tip I'd like to mention is you have to let your hair breathe, right? Like reduce the usage of wearing hats, wearing do-rags. If you're wearing a do-rag, wear a silky do-rag. Um, change your pillowcase to a silky pillowcase, all right? Heat damage. Heat damage also plays an important role in hair health, right? So reduce the amount of time you're in the sun, especially when it's really hot or even blow drying your hair every day. Do not blow dry hair. I don't recommend blow drying your hair, but if you do blow dry your hair, don't blow dry your hair often, all right? Don't dye your hair. Dyeing your hair will, oh man, let me tell you, I dyed my hair before and the damage I had, it was terrible. It was terrible. I, I didn't want, I didn't want a hair about dye my hair anymore or every time I'm in the store I wouldn't even look at the dye products. Stop dyeing your hair often. If you have to dye your hair, dye your hair but don't dye your hair too often. It's not going to end well. Don't even think about perming your hair. Perming your hair, you're just ruining your hair. You're just ruining your hair if it's natural chemical. It's, it's bad for your hair. It's, you're just gonna damage your hair. We're here to make sure that our hair is healthy and our hair will continue to grow healthy and how we can maintain healthy hair growth, all right? Dyeing your hair, blow drying it, um, sleeping with your hair wet, it is not gonna end well. It's gonna damage your hair and we do not want that. We want our hair to be healthy. That's the major tip where people take for granted and uh, they overlook this, these tips I just mentioned to y'all. And really and truly, they do play an important role in a man's, and every, uh, not just men, for everyone's hair health, all right? So take these tips into consideration, uh, what you should reduce and what you should stop doing, all right? Now, another tip I'd like to mention is you need sleep. You need to sleep well, all right? You have to sleep well. You have to get that seven hours, seven to eight hours of sleep. I know most of us are busy working men, all right? So, you, But it is very important that we get our sleep in. We have to rest. 
I also done further research about sleeping, all right? It says a good night's sleep is required for protein synthesis of the hair, plus the release of enzymes and growth hormones that are necessary for overall hair health. This hormone helps your body regulate the sleep cycle and it also has been shown to increase hair growth. This is not a joke. You can find these stuff on Google, man. All right? Sleep well. Get those hours in sleeping. Prioritize your time. All right? If you have something to do, do it right away so that when it's time to go to sleep, you're sleeping instead of doing something you should have done hours ago. All right? Come on. Come on, kings. Get those sleep well. All right? Get those sleep hours in. All right? Sleep well. Another tip is, man, watch the way you eat. You eat garbage, garbage in, garbage out. You eat garbage, what you think is gonna happen? You drink a lot of sodas, what you think is gonna happen? Garbage in, garbage out. You drink too much sodas, what's gonna happen? Your face is gonna break out. Acne, pimples, your, your hair health is gonna be destroyed. You eat all those greasy McDonald's burgers, those double waffles from Burger King, all those greasy food from Wendy's, all those fast food restaurants, stay away from them, man. Switch over to a balanced diet. Eat your greens, eat your salads, drink more water, drink eight glasses of water a day. Drink water. When I say drink a lot of water, drink water. Stop drinking soda. Soda is very bad for your hair growth. It's bad for your overall body health. Switch over to water, man. Eat healthy, all right? Eating healthy, it's gonna reflect outside, all right? You want that glowing skin, you want that healthy hair growth, you want that nail growth to be great, all right? You will not achieve it by eating healthy or drinking nasty, drinking all those nasty sodas. Switch over to water, switch over to a bottom side, eat your greens, eat your salad, all right? Garbage in, garbage out. And if you go to a McDonald's or a Burger King, and if you're watching this video, I hope this message replay in your head to say, nah, you, you know what? Never mind, I'm hopping out the line. Stay away from KFC, man. All those nasty, greasy, oily food. Stay away from it. It will hinder healthy hair growth. It will hinder overall body health, all right? Trust me, in the long run, you will start to notice your body start to shut down more because of the bad eating. You have to eat healthy. All right, the final tip for y'all is to take five or 10 pills, man. This right here is Pinnacle Nutrition, 12,000 micrograms of biotin. This is Nature's Bounty, 10,000 micrograms of biotin. I don't know if y'all can see it good, but yeah, Nature Bounty Biotin pills, 10,000 micrograms. You can find these on Amazon for like $10. All right, do not buy the 5,000 micrograms as they're not, you know, potent. This one here by Pinnacle, 12,000 micrograms, it says ultra potent and it improves hair and skin. That's one thing about biotin. Right here, supports healthy hair, skin, and nails. Take your biotin pills daily. I take one pin a day. It improves your skin, it improves your hair growth, and it improves your nails. Biotin is like the secret hack. It's like the secret formula. You will see an improvement if you take your biotin along with taking your hair oils, along with taking your hair butter. Listen, these Tracy Marin products here are uh, the GOAT. These are, if people don't know about it yet, you know about it now. Tracy Marin hair and beard butter, hair and beard oil, explosive growth shampoo. These things will be in the description below. The link for them will be in the description below with a discount code. I use these products every single day. And it's time for y'all to hop on the waves with these products, man. Trust me, some fake free products, man. Run away from some fake products. Use your beard oils, use Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, argan oil. Listen, I forgot to mention how I could forgot to mention this, man. Stop eating junk food. I know I covered a lot in this video. It's your boy Wavy Shy. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment it down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to five friends right now.
that needs to hear this message, that needs motivation, that needs to know which, what's the right products to buy. Share this to them right now. I hope we all learn from this. I hope you all take in consideration what I've taught you all in this video, all right? Because we all want that healthy hair growth. Boy, baby shop, man. You know what it is, man. See you in the next video. Signing out. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, 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 you know, hey, I am not no regular, my life is like a movie.